Hello everyone, happy Friday. It is Sage Day. We have our Sage plants. And we're going to be using six markers today. Red, brown, orange, black, dark green, and light green. So let's get started. Like always, we have our journal sheets and a bag of our journal sheets. The coloring section. All right, let's get started. Today is date five eight twenty. Talking about sage. Day of my seed. The last time we met was day thirty six. That was ten days ago. So we're gonna put my imaginary line. Six plus zero. If I have six sage plants, three, four, five, six, and I buy no more sage plants, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm done with that column, I move to the next one. I have three sage plants. One, two, three. I buy one more. So three plus one. All together. One, two, three, four. I have no more columns, so I erase my imaginary line. And there's my answer. Today is day 46. Sage is an herb. The temperature today is 44 degrees. It was a lot nicer yesterday. Last class we were at 64 degrees. So what's warmer? <clears throat> today 44 degrees or last class 64 degrees? What's the bigger number? 64 last class. So I'm going to put my <clears throat> bigger number, 64, on top, take away the bottom number, 44. Do my imaginary lines. First time I have four, take away four. So I have four sage plants, one, two, three, four. And I sell, take away, four. One, two, three, four. How many sage plants are left? Zero. My next column, I have six sage plants. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I sell or take away four of them. One, two, three, four. How many do I have left? One, two. I have no more columns, so I can erase my imaginary line. And my difference in temperature is 20 degrees. <clears throat> so it is, or it was, 20 degrees warmer last class than it is today. Today is sunny, but it is cold. We have a, a freeze watch for Saturday. Um, so what that means is like if you have any plants out there that are very fragile to cold, uh, you might want to bundle them up or put plastic around it so it doesn't freeze because that could harm or kill the plant. So if you see that on the news <clears throat> that we have a freeze watch, that's what it means. Uh, okay, let's check out our plants. So you see how big the leaves are getting now. So the one leaf's about the tip of my finger, a third of my finger. This tall plant has one, two, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves. And this one over here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's starting to get a seventh leaf. So like I said before, a long time ago, like 36 days ago, or I'm sorry, 46 days ago, sage is pretty much used in um, chicken and maybe some soups, but it's got a very, very strong smell and taste. So if you were just to rub the sage plant with your finger and smell it, your finger totally have the scent on there for a little bit of time until you wash your hands. So that's our sage plant. Let's see if we can get a good measurement with me holding the phone. Last time wasn't too successful, but uh, we are at three inches. Three inches for our stage plant. I have zero flowers. We have two herbs or two plants. And it is dry. So we're gonna water it. Yes, whenever it's dry, you water your plants. So you copy this down while I put the information on here for you to copy. And you can pause the video right now. So if you, pa Oops. If you pause the video and you press play, welcome back. So we have that done. Now I'm going to work on the coloring part. Our pot, we're still using orange, red, brown. Let's do that first. I'm going to use orange, my lighter color. If you're using markers at home, I want to show you something too. If you don't have a big selection. Since I'm done coloring this pot for orange. So with the orange, not the other colors, if I use, just put one layer down of the marker, it's going to be lighter compared to if I go over it one more time. Which gives it a darker orange. Like that. If you want it darker, wait a couple seconds and then just go over it again. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. And I said it's good if you don't have a lot of selections, if you don't have the red or the browns for detail. Just wait a couple seconds, let it dry, go over it again, and then I almost threw my car down. And then, uh, You'll see some detail like that. I'm going to put some red in there. And then some brown. It should look like this. 
Now for my dirt, I'm going to do brown and black. Same goes with the brown. Brown a few, <clears throat> just do one line across. It's going to be light, but the more you go over it, the darker it's going to get. So I'm going to do my plants. If you need to pause the video, you can pause it now so you can get an image of how the plants look. If you want to look it up some more, remember we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves on this guy and seven leaves on a small guy. I'm going to use light green for my stem. For the veins and the detail, I'm going to use dark green, but if you want to use black, you could definitely do that. The tips of the leaves for the sage are round. Each plant has the two bottom leaves. They're more round than the top ones. They're not going to have that bend. But if you put it in there, it's fine. Something that looks like this. So, we finished our journal sheets, our coloring log, and as soon as you finish all your other assignments for today, you have the whole weekend to relax. Um, once again, if you go out over the weekend, please wear a mask. Um, the weather is supposed to be kind of crummy, but uh, come Next week, Wednesday, should start picking up, being a little warmer. Um, like I said, tomorrow we have um, a, fr a frost 
Warning. So if you do have any delicate plants outside, cover them up. And have a good weekend, and I'll see you Monday. Bye.